I'm Laura, and today it's another Fearless Friday. So I have a giant African millipede. This is Boots. And many of you might think that a millipede and a centipede are the same, but they're actually very different. We named our giant African millipede Boots because can you imagine how many boots he would need to wear? That's one big difference between a millipede and a centipede. Milli millipede means 1,000 feet, whereas a centipede means 100 feet. And millipedes will have two legs on each side, so four legs per body segment, whereas centipedes only have two legs per body segment. And when a millipede is full grown, they'll have about 300 feet. So still a lot of feet. Another difference between a millipede and a centipede is a centipede is venomous. Centipedes are carnivores, so they eat meat and they need their venom to eat their food. And venom is if it's injected in you. So if an animal bites you or stings you and the venom gets injected. But a millipede is poisonous. So he'll secrete a poison to help protect himself. Um, millipedes are going to eat plants and dead things. So they're herbivores and detritivores. They're sort of like the rainforest farmers. So they're going to clean up the rainforest floor by eating anything on the ground. And then as they, di as they digest it, they'll make a fertilizer, just like that, to fertilize the soil. And then they also dig little burrows and that aerates the soil. So they are very important to the rainforest. He uses his antenna as well to kind of feel around. They don't have the best eyesight, so he'll use those to feel his way around and sense the world. All right, well, I hope you guys learned a little bit about the differences between millipedes and centipedes. And you met my friend Boots. Hope to see you guys next time.